The temporarily closed sign went up late Monday afternoon outside of Long Beach's only emergency room, and it stunned some city residents. With hardly any notice, this was thrust upon us in our community. This civic leader calls it shameful. This facility sees 70,000 patients a year. It was shut down just hours after the hospital that runs it announced its closure. I'm very concerned. <laughs> This Long Beach councilwoman fought back tears, worried, she says, that a city of 50,000 now has no ER. But Mount Sinai South Nassau Hospital blames New York's COVID vaccine mandate for this shutdown. The hospital says it lost six dozen health care employees today, all unvaccinated workers who had been allowed to stay on the job with a religious exemption. But New York's Department of Health withdrew those exemptions as of today. And that created a shortage of ER nurses here. I'm disappointed. I, I think it's a great facility. My wife and daughter have been here. Sal Giamalvo himself was among the last to be treated here today. Now concerned, he says, about having to drive 15 to 20 minutes to the closest ER that's five miles away in Oceanside. I'd like to have a facility like this convenient. The city of Long Beach needs medical care, needs emergency care.